you can hear you very well. Okay, so um, so this work is a joint work uh, with uh, Marilo Meunier and uh, Michael Tomaso. Um, we, it takes place in the context of ontology-based data access, where we have uh, three level, the data level, uh, the ontology, and in between the mappings. And what we, we want to do is to answer a query on the knowledge base, where the instances are generated from the data through the mappings. In these settings, we want to consider the mappings and the ontology as existential rules. So in existential rules have the following form where the body and the head are conjunction of atoms and the variable that appears only in the head are existentially quantified. Uh, the mappings can be considered as susto target uh, existential rules where the body is a conjunction query on the data and the head is a conjunction query on the ontology. In the following, we will consider uh, that mappings and rules have no constant. Um, so what we have is D, which will be the data, M, which is the mapping, I, D, M is the instance generated by the data and the mappings, and R is the set of rules. And to get the answer of the query, we can trigger the mappings on the data in order to generate the instance and chase it uh, using the set of the rules and then just evaluate uh, the, the query on this, on this result. But traditionally, we, better, we, we use uh, another technique, which is based on uh, mediation-based query answering, where the query is first reformulated using the set of the rules, and then this reformulation is re written uh, using the mappings. And the bottleneck of this approach usually is the that's we have many, many reformulation and many of them cannot be rewritten uh, using the mappings. Another approach, uh, another known approach is to uh, compile uh, the rule into the mappings in order to generate another set of mappings with which we can rewrite the query directly on the query on the data. Uh, this approach shows uh, an improvement uh, in terms of query answering performances, but uh, it's used, it's defined for light languages. So I want now to show you how we can do it using uh, a set of mappings and a set of existential rules. To, so we iteratively derive new mappings. Um, so here, for example, we will start by uh, composing M2 with R1 to obtain these new mappings. And here, what we have done basically is to saturate the head of the mapping using the rules. And that is traditionally what, what is done. But uh, we can now also um, compose M1 with M3 uh, with R2. And that's go beyond the state of the art of uh, mapping and rules composition. At the end, what we want uh, in order to have um, complete and correct uh, query answering techniques uh, using M prime is that the set of facts derived by uh, M prime is the equivalent to um, the, the chase of R on the instance generated by D and the original set of mappings M. Now uh, we want to abstract uh, from the ontology uh, based uh, data access uh, settings and consider only uh, a single set of existential rules. And we, our research question is the following. Uh, when the chase uh, can be simulated uh, using a single breath first uh, step. It means that we want to consider the informally the, the set of the set of existential rules that are parallelizable, uh, meaning that they exist another finite set of rules R prime, independent from any instance, able to produce an equivalence chase of R 
in a single step. And we want to be able to characterize the set of rules that are parizable. So our two main contribution are the fact that parizable is uh, equivalent to be both bonded and peaceful, a new class that we introduce. And we also show some links between the parizability and rule composition, but I will not be able to address uh, this point uh, during this talk. So more formally, um, we say that R is parizable uh, if there exists a finite set of rule independent from any instance, able to produce an equivalent superset of the chase in a single breadth first step. And that's the reason why here we have an injection. Um, we can easily show that uh, if a set of rule is parisable, then it is bonded, meaning that there is exists a K, such as for any instance, the chase uh, using R uh, terminate in uh, K steps. And which is what is surprising here is that actually bonded is not sufficient to apply uh, parisable. Before showing you um, a counterexample of that, I want to introduce you to the notion of peace, which are the minimal set of atoms that are glued together by nulls in the chase. So here you have an example of chase where Z0, Z1, and Z2 are the nulls, and the pieces are represented here using a different color, so there are four of them. So the counter example uh, is the following. We call it the prime example, and it is bonded uh, by a bond equal to two. Uh, it contains two uh, rules that are R1 and L2, and we will consider it with the seconds of instance, which will contain one A and N B. Uh, the resulting chase is the following, where uh, first in the first step of the chase, we apply R1 in order to derive a uh, duration uh, P A Z Z0. Uh, where Z0 is a null. And in the second step of the chase, we will uh, derive all the R relation between Z0 and the Bs. So here we have one pieces, uh, which can be of arbitrary size uh, according to the, to the instance. So since uh, this stage create an arbitrary large piece, uh, it cannot be simulated uh, by a single breadth first step instead a single breadth first step uh, indeed a single breadth first step can only produce a piece that is as large as uh, the rules head so that's lead us to the notion of peacefulness uh, and we say that a rule is peaceful if uh, for any trigger um, in a derivation on this rule sets uh, the Frontier variable of a rule will be maps to the term of the initial instance or uh, otherwise. Uh, oh. And in this case, so in the first case, uh, it will generate a new piece into the, into the chase. Otherwise, we allow the frontier variable to be mapped to the terms uh, of the atom brought by a single uh, previous rule application. And in this case, uh, it means that we will extend an existing piece uh, with atoms that use only terms that appear in this piece or that are uh, new uh, nulls. We can check now that actually the prime example is not peaceful and it's we can we we will see that in the second uh, rule application R two uh, where the variable uh, the frontier variable are uh, Z and Y, and we will map Z to Z and Y to B one, and at this point uh, they uh, belong to two different pieces. What is interesting with uh, this uh, prime example is that uh, it can be extend and to any uh, 
it can be somehow generalized to any uh, set of rules that are not peaceful. Uh, and it allows us basically to um, show that the parisability uh, implies the peacefulness. So the class of peaceful rules uh, is already quite interesting because it contains so, um, the frontier guarded rules and the dialogue rules. So what we have done so far is to show that uh, parisability implies boundedness and that the converse is, oops, sorry, the converse is false uh, because we have uh, the prime example. And we also show that uh, parisability implies uh, peacefulness but the con converse is false because we can uh, consider, for example, uh, a single rule, uh, a transitive rule, which will be peaceful, but uh, not bonded, so not uh, parallelizable at the end. In the other way, uh, if we have both boundedness and peacefulness, it applies parallelizability, and we can show uh, this result, uh, we can prove this result uh, first by uh, because uh, we will have uh, a finite number of uh, non-isomorphic non pieces uh, in the chase. And then we will be able to build a finite set of rules that will uh, create these pieces in a single step. Uh, so this um, work um, opens ma many perspectives. And uh, in particular, uh, we want in the, in the following to understand, to better understand the rule composition and, and to, to be able to compute uh, parallelization in practice. We also want to better understand the property of a peaceful class because it's interesting in itself. And we also want to uh, use um, Scalarization on the rules in order to produce more succinct, succinct rule composition. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>